Almost two weeks after a massive oil spill in Huntington Beach, tar is still showing up on San Diego beaches. As the cleanup continues, News 8's Dana Maria McNichol spent the day with the Surfrider Foundation in Oceanside looking at the local impact. There is evidence of tar on the beach here in Oceanside, and it's pretty easy to spot. The Surfrider Foundation says do not touch it, but there are other things you can do to help clean up the spill. This is a great example of tar balls on the beach. As we can see right here, it kind of looks like, I don't know, maybe rocks, maybe pieces of seaweed, but it is in fact tar, and you can even smell that. Authorities are testing oil found on San Diego beaches in connection to a pipeline leak out of Huntington Beach. Tar is washing up on shorelines from Mission Beach and Encinitas to Oceanside. Alex Farron is a volunteer with the Surfrider Foundation. The nonprofit fights to protect our oceans. A lot of people want to help. A lot of people want to help clean up. And the tar is very toxic. So we're trying to make sure the public knows that helping is not picking up the tar. This would be a great example of a time to not touch and instead pull out your phone and take record of what you're seeing. You can report oil found on the beach online to tarball reports at wildlife.ca.gov. If exposed, the CDC says skin can develop a rash or allergic reactions. And here's some more. So this is a little bit bigger, a little more put together um, before we saw kind of scattered pieces. The cause of the oil spill remains under investigation. Officials believe the pipeline was likely damaged by a ship's anchor. Surrounding the animal, there's just pieces of tar. The cleanup efforts continue by multiple different agencies, including the Oiled Wildlife Care Network. They reported at least 73 oiled covered birds have been recovered and 45 of those have died. No San Diego beaches are currently closed and residents continue to surf the waves. We don't really know where it's going to show up next or where to look out for it. It's a little bit subject to winds and currents and all sorts of stuff that just moves that naturally. The Surfrider Foundation has a campaign right now called Where They Drill, They Spill. They're asking residents to reach out to their representatives to push for a renewable solution for energy.